What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're gonna do the daily just to see if we get the achievement, that ever so elusive achievement, and uh, no dice yet again. So we will die, and we will die on the sacrifice room, and uh, yeah, we'll continue with our Eden streaks. Hey, we feel blessed. How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? My controller is very, very tangled. Okay, here we go. We're back. We're live. We're live, baby. All right, four wins in a row. Let's continue the steamroll. Don't cry about it, man. Don't cry. All right. Okay, and it's not wait what, but I heard that if you, like, drop it a bunch that you can actually turn it into wait what or something. I don't know. We'll see. If we run into another space bar item, we'll see what the deal is. But we got a tiny planet start, boys. Let's see if we can make it work. Uh, don't want to lose the four win streak, but honestly looks like it might happen if I'm being real with you guys. <laughs> Early tiny planet is rough. When you have like tears up, something as great as like lump of coal, uh, that makes tiny planet amazing. Our range stat is really good, which is helping us out, you know, in the early stages here. But like I said, tiny planet this early in the game, Really hard to handle, but like we gotta do it, man. This is what you get for starting with Eden. But this is what's exciting about Eden starts. You never know what you're gonna get. That's that's it. It's like a box of chocolates, man. So is life. You know, life is like an Eden start. You never know what you're gonna get. Take that, Tom Hanks, you piece of garbage. Has anyone ever called Tom Hanks a piece of garbage? I don't I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say straight up no. How can you even say that? I feel weird after saying it, even in a joking manner. So the one good thing about Tiny Planet is the tier height is so high it goes over rocks and stuff, but like I said, that's the one good thing about Tiny Planet. If we get some items, some damage ups to make the tiers bigger, to make the hitboxes bigger, or if we get Tiny Planet, which basically makes the damage multiplier go up as they spin around our head, which is awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say, this guy's gonna shoot creep very soon. And I don't want to be around for him to shoot creep on me. I mean, we're just basically blind firing right now. There's no real sense of aiming. That guy was about to shoot the creep again. These room clears are going to take a long, long time, man. Uh, hopefully, we could turn this into wait what? Because it would be, honestly, one of our biggest damage dealers. We've, uh, we've seen the beauty of wait what. So I would like to, you know, try to turn this butter bean into it. I heard like if you like have a space bar item on a pedestal, if you pick up and drop Butterbean enough, it turns into wait what? I don't know, I could be wrong. We can hold out hope for it though, honestly, because right now it's a little rough. Okay, we got that guy, the goo guy, goo gone. <clears throat> honestly, I think the best strat is to Face backwards, get as close as you can to hit with the first couple of tiers that you toss out. That's always been my strat. Oh my god, that was terrible. That's always been my strategy with Tiny Planet. You know, it's a bit dicey against some enemies, but it works. It freaking works. All right, we still have Curse of the Law, so we don't know where we're going. We have yet to find our item room, which could turn this around, man. It could turn it around. You never know. We definitely don't want Mom's Knife, though, because Mom's Knife Tiny Planet is kind of a disaster. Um, you know, any sort of damage up, any sort of tier effect like that, you know, random poison shots every once in a while, I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna go back here just to see if we could find our item room, just cause like, I feel confident enough to beat the boss, I just, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, that looks like our shop. I mean, shooting these poops is a good idea to try to get some more money. Of course, pick up the money that we've already got on the ground here. All right, this is not the way. This is a certain way. It's just not the way. It's my way. My way or the highway. Is that a is that Limp Biscuit song a cover? Well, am I just realizing that that's a cover? Cuz like people that don't probably don't know what Limp Biscuit is, I feel like they say that saying or sing that song. Maybe it's just a famous saying and they they made it into song lyrics. I think that's probably the case. This is this is uh this is rough, boys. This is rough. I mean, it's a good thing we have a tinted rock here. Hopefully, we get small rock and then we get another thing in our head. Not small rock. 
you know, questionable to take the, the Tinted Rock, or sorry, the Soul Heart right away, but I believe in our dodging. All right, got the item room. It is Shard of Glass, which I don't think does anything until you get hit, which uh, I don't love, but it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, let's 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 go fight the boss, make our way back downtown. This is our starting room here. Okay, all right, so we just needed to go left, like, one room or two rooms, and then we would have got <gasps> our item room. That's usually the case. So close yet so far. We got, like, blood on our body or something. We got some weird shit going on cosmetically. It kind of works, though, doesn't it? Kind of freaking works. Yeah, the haunt's a little rough. A little rough. I mean, a better than a Ragman fight, I guess. Or is it? I'm just trying to stay, you know, in the vicinity here. Get a little knockback going. We just have so many tears in the air. It's just such a shame that, like, you know, 75 to to 85% of them never even connect. Maybe even more. Okay, all right. Relax there, Haunt. And our damage isn't, like, flying off the charts at 2.89. It's just, you know, it's just there, kind of. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's kind of- these spiders are making me dodge almost into him, so one of those shots could have really been detrimental. Holy hell. I at least get the poison shot going on. This is, uh, this is something. <laughs> We're holding on to that half soul heart. Let's, uh, keep it that way. Okay, just kill the spider. Whew! All that for a fucking damage. Uh, da all that for a health up, not damage up. I wish it was a damage up. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Basement two. We got a map. We got shard of glass. We got tiny planet. We got an HP up. We have a half a soul heart to hang on to to try to get a deal with the devil here, which I think is imperative. Uh, honestly, I would not mind a Krampus fight in the least. A Krampus fight and then like you know lump of coal would be amazing. Stay in there and dodge well. All right, we don't have a bomb to access that tinted rock, which is a shame. I don't know if there's anything we could really do in there. Troll bomb, okay, okay. Maybe if we use Butterbean enough, it'll turn into wait what. I doubt that'll happen, but we could try. Okay. The dips are no problem. The dip shouldn't be a problem though. That's the thing. Oh man, oh man. All right, we're good. We're good. We got the key. We got five keys. We need bombs is what we need. Not. We, I said we got the key as if we got a bomb, but we got a key, which we have, you know, a lot of at this point. The dodges have to be real. This guy's going to blow up, so I'd rather, like, not be super close to him when he dies. I just don't know if that's going to be a possibility. Okay, nice. The most dangerous enemy in the room did explode. That hitbox is so wonky. You know what? That's, I'm okay with this because it's going to give us five bombs and it's actually going to give us another way to deal some significant damage. And what is this going to do? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening? Um, we're gonna take pinky eye. I like the random poison shots. The damage over time is nice if one of those tiers end up hitting. Uh, but this is also good. Oh, that's great. That is great. All right, well, we can go back for this tinted rock just to, like, kind of hold on to this deal with the devil chance. And small rock is a slight speed down, but... Is this gonna... Huh. I don't know, man. I was trying to swindle away. E okay. I mean, that kind of did what I wanted it to do, but it ended up not giving us, you know, that rock break on the left because it went through another raw or like a steel, steel block or something. Okay. Pinky shot is good. Small rock is good. Bomber boy is good. That's going to be able to, you know, 
kill bosses quicker than we normally would with this tiny planet build. Just fart him into the tears. One bomb for two bombs? Sign me up. Sign me up. The shop? Sign me up. Outside? Cash me out there. I don't know. I don't know what I did. I failed on whatever I tried to say there. Um, I just like old stale memes, and I'm gonna keep saying old stale memes till the day I die. <clears throat> Let's go down here. Gonna go in the shop. Gonna use another bomb here for this chest. I'm also like kind of looking for a trapdoor, considering we're blowing up so many damn rocks. Uh, refresh, I think, is a no-brainer. Uh, that is kind of a purchase for the future. Right now, it's not doing much for us, but... Just fart on that guy a couple times. All right, let's, let's, let's see what this boss has to offer. Okay, it's Monstro. Real shame. I was waiting for the big jump. We got the big jump. Failed again. We're gonna have to kill him with the tears at this point. Back up off me, dog. Back up off me. All right, we poisoned him. We poisoned the boys. Nice. Using the butter bean effectively here, as effectively as we can. A speed up is actually really good. And these two are really good as well. Um, okay. Now we're starting to cook a little bit. Somebody gave me the peanut oil, and now we're starting to cook. The oven's on low. We're about to put it to medium. We're gonna start cooking here in a minute. Holy frick, dude. There's so many tears. All right. So we're gonna take this, and then we're gonna take this. And then we're gonna get a shit ton of black hearts. We're gonna be able to fly. We got another speed up. I don't know if it's from Abaddon or Spirit of the Night. Spirit of the Night gives us flight. Spectral tears, which is, we don't really need it, but like, I'm gonna take it. Because our tier height is good enough to where it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, man, this is this is a good this is a good good thing. Good things are happening. I was gonna say that's the one problem about Tiny Planet is that when you place a bomb down, you cannot guarantee that bomb standing there uh, and being able to you know blow up where you placed it. And also, it you know kind of ruins the whole place a bomb and shoot a tear so it bounces over to the enemies. Uh, strategies. That's okay. We can't complain. We got Abaddon. We got Spirit of the Night. We got Lit Bowl, baby. That's an all stats up. If I don't use Butterbean, which, I mean, right now, there's no point in using Butterbean because we have Vibrant Bulb. That's actually really good. It's all working out for us right now. Usually, you know, you wouldn't say that kind of thing when you start with the damn tiny planet. Which, I mean, in the beginning, it wasn't great. We got through a couple rough floors there. And then survived long enough to get the deal with the devil, which actually was pretty significant. If we get, you know, lump of coal right now, we'd be in business. Uh, don't want that. I like you, pinky eye. You did well. You did good. But Vibrant Bulb is too damn good. And our speed is like at a 1.48, which is great considering we picked up Small Rock, which is actually a small speed down. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got hit by my own bomb there. I don't know. I know I have Bomber Boy, so I know it explodes in a huge radius, but you could have saw my logic there. I knew, I knew things were closing in on us, and we had to act fast. So if we do one here, we're going to be able to get all four of them, which is nice and gives us some money. Which is good, because we have refresh. And you know what? I'll do this, because I feel good about it. And we got a soul heart out of it. So if we don't get hit, it's actually really good. A, a tears up would be amazing to get more tears on the screen. Because our damage seems to be alright. That was really bad. That was me just being an idiot. And then, I think, being feared. Popping up in all random spots. Alright. You kind of get the feel after a while for Tiny Planet. If I could just dodge like a normal human being, we'd be all right. All right, got a bomb. Oh, Blackheart, easy clear. I just used Necronomicon there. What are you guys talking about? It's Data Miner. I don't know. I don't know. I I I probably should just take it. First of all, let's try that that uh strategy of dropping Butterbean until it becomes wait what. 
Let's try that, because that is a spacebar item data miner. It's nice because we can access these consumables. We also want to go in the curse room, and it's actually an item, and the Gimpy at that. Gimpy, very good. Hopefully pays out there. Doesn't pay out there. That's okay. Um, we are going to just try to drop this. Oh, God. Slow down, Jay. Slow down. Butterbean. Data miner. Butterbean. Data miner. Butterbean. Data miner. Butterbean. Data miner. Butterbean. Okay, whoever said that in the comments, you're wrong. Nah, it still might happen. I'm just, I'm not in the uh, interest to stay around and stick around as long as it might take for it to happen. So yeah, we don't know if that myth is debunked or what. We just, you know, I, could, I couldn't stand to do that much longer. We got things to do, people to see, bosses to kill. Rushes to get to, shops to enter. All right, all right, well, bang, bang, baby, bang. Honestly, I like compost, but with Vibrant Bulb, I'd rather not. Treasure map is gonna be good, and Sack of Sacks would be great as well. This is one of those runs where I'm like a little scared about it, so we're gonna go hard at the uh, donation machine. Sack of Sacks, and then Nightlight. Did Sack of Sacks drop a sack? No. I thought it did when you buy it, bought it. Maybe that's Sackboy, or maybe that doesn't happen. Maybe I'm just making shit up at this point. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Data Miner does, I'll show you. There you go. <laughs> it like breaks the game, but like gives your tiers like random effects can be holy shot. Uh, I don't know if it's a tiers up, it might be, but as you can see, there's a little horn shot. So it's, it's for our build is actually pretty good. The only thing is we do have Vibrant Bulb, and the fact of the matter is, we probably want to have a Vibrant Bolt activated as long as we possibly can. That worked out. That worked out real well. But yeah, Data Miner is probably really good for a boss fight. You know, if we can't really hit them with the Bomber bomber Boy bombs, we'll be good indeed. I don't really know what X-Lax does. <laughs> I know, like, if I'm not flying, it you basically slide around on it. Uh, but, like, I don't know if it affects enemies or if it damages them over time. Like, a lemon party, I don't think it does. Maybe it slows them. I have no idea. I have no idea. Jay, just please, bro. Please. Dodge. Dodge. This is the kind of room where we just get as many tiers on the screen as possible. Don't really aim them and just hope they eventually hit. That shot is such bullshit. The one where he doesn't even lift his head and then three little tears come out of nowhere. Bullshit. Bullshit. So we got 15 more cents. We could buy something from the shop. As I remember, it wasn't super interesting. This is exactly what we needed to see. Got our health back, basically, uh, after this horrendous floor of dodging. My floor was garbage. How about yours? Let's go to the right. I haven't gone to the right. Fat Bat, so tanky. Very dicey going in there. I just wanted to kill the spawner, but I guess no harm, no foul. All right, up to 16 cents. Do we want the shop at this point? I don't really remember what was in there. Okay, this is the item room. That's a bit of an issue. I have no idea where the shop was. Here it is. Okay, I bought Nightlight just because, one, you don't get Curse of the Darkness anymore, which is nice. It slows enemies. It's it's pretty helpful. The only thing that it sucks on is the Mom's Heart fight because it could slow up some of her tears and speed up other ones. No, not speed up, but, like, not slow other tears, and it basically creates a very confusing tier uh, barrage to, to dodge. So that's the only downside about Nightlight, but it's so minimal that it's not a big deal. Uh, the slowing is really nice, and like I said, no Curse of the Darkness is nice. Plus, we have Refresh, so I wanted to see what was behind it, and if something was good enough behind it, we either could have just got money and went back and bought it, or 
we could have uh, blown up the donation machine. But neither seemed to be that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I should date him. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. F it. It does get a little confusing, but like, I don't know. Oh, God. All right. Thought that bomber boy bomb would have done more damage to him. A little surprised about that, honestly. Oh, see, that's where it's bullshit, data miner. The hitboxes get a little wonky, as you saw there. There's no way I even ran into him. But it said I ran into him, so that's that. Damn, we completely whiffed on that bomb. Taking way longer than I thought it would, honestly. Wow, that was dicey bomb dodging there. I don't know what I'm thinking with these bombs. All right, some god headshots. Yeah, that's going to end it. All right, another speed up, which is fine, and a size down, which is also fine. Um, Book of Sin is interesting. Uh, I popped that pill in case it was like a health up or something. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it because, you know, again, Vibrant Bulb. Maybe that's why we didn't kill him as fast as we thought we would have because we used, you know, the charge, got rid of Vibrant Bulb boost, and, you know, for not too much of a, a, a damage helper other than the fact of the random godhead, you know, little horn tears. What am I running back for? I, was, I thought a, bo a battery would be in the vicinity, but it doesn't seem to be. All right, well, we'll just leave then. I could have swore I saw a battery not too far away. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave Book of Sin behind, because that, that would just encourage exhausting Vibrant Bulb more, and I think it's such a good trinket that, like, if the spacebar item isn't good enough, there's no point in taking it, uh, if we're not gonna use it. Again, a Data Miner kind of proved itself there, where it was just, like, mediocre, and that Vibrant Bulb, and, like, us knowing where the hitboxes were, and placing a better, Placing better Bomber Boy bombs, which really had nothing to do with Data Miner. That's just me being an idiot. And how I didn't pick up one of those charges, I don't know. I'm a little confused as well. Guess they didn't have time to hit the ground. Let the batteries hit the ground, right? <clears throat> Too many syllables. Too many syllables. Good old drowning pool, though. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. Oh, just hit the damn portal! We good. We Gucci. I mean, we have treasure maps, so we have mapping. I'm assuming I know where the end is in the top right there. Uh, but as for everything else... Okay, I had a feeling maybe the item room would be attached to this, or the shop. <clears throat> so we checked it out, and it paid out. Well, it will pay out in a second here. Mulligan's really good. Mulligan is really good. We'll take that for sure. Get some flies going. I love it. I love it. Sack out here. Get these clowns out of here. These guys are a lot harder to dodge because you're not shooting straight shots. <clears throat> so you're kind of all over the board. And when they die, it's usually at a random time you don't see coming. Because there's so many tears on the damn floor that like... A stray one could kill one, and then all of a sudden their death animation gets you. <clears throat> oh, melt, melt, melt. Nice. Nice. Uh, all right. So the shop is here, which is nice. We're going to, you know, you might abuse the, the donation machine even more because we want to take advantage of refresh. We want to get a lot of shop items. Even, I mean, chaos would be awesome. Chaos with refresh is great. Okay, so we don't, unfortunately, have means to abuse the donation machine which i mean could be good but we'll take humbling bundle if we get the money which we should get the money i mean it's only five cents and we got a bunch of rooms to go here uh, i disagree i disagree with that hit i disagree with that hit there game larry jr meet your demise my friend let's pop this five cents just like that easy peasy Lemon squeezy. Let's get the humbling bundle and then we get dull razor Which I know dull razor has its upsides. I don't think we have anything to really activate like when we get hit other than The thing we picked up like first which is like shard of glass or something which I don't really even know what it does 
And again, Vibrant Bulb. Do we want to be using a two-room charge item all the time? I don't know if we do. I think this all stats up, getting us basically to match max speed, a better tier rate, just better all around, I think is going to reign supreme. I'm going to put that there because I want to blow up the mushrooms anyway. And pay to win is a good trinket. It gives you refreshes. It gives you refreshes on your item rooms, which could be very valuable. Uh, but we're not going to have many more item rooms because this is... Uh, we got one more floor after this. So, Oh, God. This guy just spawns. That was a really solid bomb there. We're doing just fine. Mulligan's helping out as well, which is nice. Still got a fly in here. And uh, tears up just what the doctor ordered. I like it. I like it a lot. And as for the shop, I don't really remember what came after... Uh, <clears throat> what came after Humbling Bundle. But if I don't remember it, it probably wasn't good or good enough. What? What did I get hit by? Oh, F this room forever. F that room for F this room forever. There's a lot of chests, though. I'm okay with this, considering I have nine keys. Don't Bob's brain me. Don't Bob's brain me. Fate's reward. Well, we could fly again. And we do we get an eternal heart? Yeah. No? Oh, never mind. Fate is something different. <laughs> we got the little blue guy that shoots tears. I don't know if he shoots tiny planet tears. He does. That's actually nice. That's basically a tears up. Which is kind of cool. That troll bomb didn't blow up the uh, blow upable chest here. These Zombros, dudes. I need a ball of bandages or a cube of meat for this room. Damn. Goadhead. All right. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, baby. We'll just do this because we have a battery here. I mean, it might be a little too late, but like better late than never. Holy hell. I don't even know where to hit them. Shrink shot, I guess. Um, <laughs> all right, a little wonk, a little wonky. No troll bomb. Ooh, the sun. Okay, sun's nice. We look so emo right now. I love it. Glass cannon. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> no, thank you. Is the shop over here? It's not. I want to get out of the room now. Now this room isn't too bad. Any any room without zombros. Or enemies like Mask of Infamy, I'm okay with. So Joker's interesting. We're just gonna, you know, go over here, wait, sun card, kill them, get full mapping, and then hold on to the Joker until like the cathedral or the chest or something. Because, you know, otherwise we're gonna we're guaranteed deals with the devil. On, on rooms you can organically get deals with the devil. So the cathedral and chest, you don't organically get them with goat head. So Joker will be good then. We just got to hold on to it till then. And I, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. We don't have any other pressing cards or anything. More sun cards, which is actually just effectively a good Necronomicon. Let's take the charge key. These guys all over the place. All over the place. That's the one problem about the flashlight. You gauge their speed sometimes at a certain degree, and then, like, you realize, well, I guess we'll Joker. <laughs> they really want us to Joker, so we're gonna Joker. And we got Leviathan, Leviatron, Titantron, and uh, we got the Pact, which is really good. Curse of the Blind. And we got the Pact. We took a chance, man. I mean, if I could get over here. Okay. I was going to say, if we can get to the abyss, the black hole of abyss over here, we're going to be just fine. And then I run into... I'm just so damn fast. It's no excuse, Jay. You've had floor after floor after floor to get used to your speed. You're right. Comment section. It's no excuse. It's no excuse, man. PhD, man. Rip Joker. No, no, we're okay. A health up. A health up's interesting. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it since we have Goathead. Rip the donation machine, boys. Car battery. Wooden nickel. Pop it. Easy two cents. 
So not quite worth the money. I mean, we could be real irresponsible right now. Whoops! Jeez, that's a lot of money. Ventricular razor. Interesting. Uh, nun's habit. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, wow. We've destroyed that donation machine. Holy hell. Another Necronomicon. Effectively, I get it's mapping, dude. All right, all right, man. Don't comment. Don't comment what the sun card does. Oh, Jay, you know, because you're mapping, right? Oh, totally, totally not, it. It definitely gives you mapping, bro. Are you an idiot? I don't know. You're, you guys are surfing potheads. I, sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't characterize you guys as that. I don't know if that fits any of my demographic. Um, Joker again? Is this some kind of Joker? All right, we'll activate this. I just want these consumables. Just don't mind me. I think one of my flies killed him. And then we're going to go buy another shop item because why not? We have uh, the money for it. Terra Cloth, which is going to double our Joker. Double our High Priestess. Which we'll go pop. I mean, we have... I think we have another Joker. Yeah, we have a Joker right there. So we don't even have to, like, go back for the other one. Double. Okay. It was a little underwhelming. I guess maybe it does double damage or something. I don't know. I didn't know John Snow Empress. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, there is a secret room there, which doesn't interest me too much. Not enough to run back for it. And then as for the shop, we only have seven cents. Yes, we have 30 bombs, so we could probably... Like, the worst timing for a bomb... Just bomber boy him to death. But, uh, yeah, we could probably bomb our donation machine and get another item out of the shop. But it's like, when do you stop? With the, with refresh, when do you stop? When your donation machine hits zero? I don't know if it's worth it at this point. I, I think we're in a pretty good position. Cuba meat's nice. Cuba meat's definitely nice. All right, let's go down to the next floor. Again, we have our Joker card, which is nice. But we don't need to use it because we have goat head. Yet. We don't need to use it yet. The fool. Um, actually, we'll take the fool and then we'll go back here and uh, do this. Take these. Just get out of there. We double fooled because of the tarot card. Thank you very much. I don't know what it did, but thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh. Some slight dodges. Slight dodges, boys. I mean, Cuba meat is what I asked for, like, a couple floors ago. And honestly, our damage is really good right now. And just our, like, DPS, I guess you could say. Just our damage output across the board. Uh, that we're doing all right. I mean, Mulligan's helping out. Uh, it's Fate's Eternal's actually helping out. Adding another tier every once in a while, which is probably a bigger help than you can, you know, tell on the, on the surface. But uh, if you look at uh, Fate Eternal, you could tell. On the surface, he looks calm and ready. You know what I mean? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> we'll be here for years. Sorry, guys. Can't go to PAX anymore. I'm shooting a golden poop. Oh, humbling bundle, though. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Could we have missed our shop? No, we couldn't have. We've been to all rooms that basically border other rooms, so we could not have missed our shop unless we are completely blind. Which, uh, we are not. And I know we are not blind because we always see Steam Sale in the shop when Steam Sale is offered to us. And we always buy Steam Sale when Steam Sale is offered to us. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I am not blind, uh, to answer your question. It looks like we have, like, some sort of glasses on. Do you see what I mean? What is that? What is that? That's really strange looking. It looks like see-through glasses or something. Oh, yeah, it's weird. It's weird, man. I think it's a couple of cosmetic items, like, clashing. Okay, so PhD... Okay. I kind of... Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what's happening. PhD has, like, a line going across because, like, it's a doctor's mask. So, I guess that's, like, the string that holds the mask on. And then on top is the nun's habit. Top of the, ha the, top of the head there. 
which is creating an interesting looking like see-through see-through glasses thing all right sack a sack sack boy you, you guys know the drill you guys know the damn drill i don't know what the drill is but you guys know the drill uh another sun card holy hell all right let's go over here go down here wait a second pop the sun card get out of here easy free clear of a room get these consumables and chests and sacks of course now holy holy hell i'm that lazy that i'm gonna hermit card back into the shop um i don't know if this is gonna get all three of these oh it did okay i didn't mean to buy that soul heart but we bought the soul heart uh i would rather not blow up the donation machine i don't know if we did we might have can't tell some more money is nice uh let's just go with deck of cards okay well unfortunately that is so appealing to me the potato peeler that i am gonna go harder at our donation machine and we might hit oh no we're gonna hit zero oh my oh me oh my and guys there might be like a way to break the game i don't give a shit <laughs> i don't care i breaking the game is so lame after you do it like three times so sorry if you're like oh dude you could pick up a two with diamonds pick up you know what i mean yeah i mean guys <laughs> uh but seriously uh that was that was all good but we drained our donation machine a little much. I'm 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 taking hive mine here because we have mulligan and th uh, this is a little low, a little low for our donation machine. But we did what we needed to do, man. We're trying to win this uh, tiny planet start of an Eden run, and you know it's it's gonna work. I think it's so damn crazy. It might just work. But for real, I mean, tiny planet. I'm not I'm not writing it off as a trash item. Please, let's just let's get that out of the way. I think Tiny Planet is good. I think Tiny Planet is awful to start with. Uh, but we made it work. We turned it into something great. I know you're like, Jay, go back for the Joker, man. Hey, hey, Jay, go back for the Joker. You're right. We don't need vision. I mean, we have treasure map, which uh, outlines the map, and you can usually figure out, you know, what's going on. We do have Super Meat Boy. Which is nice. He's not level 4, but I think he's level 3 or 2. I don't really... Oh, no! Oh, we have... Ta wait, no. That doesn't work. Like, Wait, do we have car battery, though? Yeah. <gasps> I died. Um. Yeah, dude. We have car battery, I think. I think we bought it in one of those... Curse of the... Uh, the... Blind, unknown... Shops. Yeah. Oh... I like Goose Baby just fine, but it's not worth the three soul hearts at this point because, you know, we, we don't have that much good defense, one, and we don't really have a renewable source of health, uh, like a relic or something. Um, so, yeah, we're going to hold... Oh, we do have Gimpy, though, so I guess take back what I just said. That hit me! I was cornered! Okay. Stars card is nice because we can go in here for free. We could take this, hit this, peace out. Yeah, the only problem is it could take us pretty far away from where we were or where we want to go. But, I mean, it's just on the other flip side of that. It could have taken us closer to where we go, want to go or where we need to go get our Joker or something. It might get to the point where sacks are a little much. I would like rather not fight this room, but that was actually pretty quick. I think the black heart took care of a lot of that, which I'm okay with. I mean, still holding out hope for lump of coal, honestly. It would, I'm telling you, it would make a world of difference. Another stars card. I don't know if I, you know, want to pop it again. I don't think it's necessary. Plus, we're just going to take the Joker and go on uh, our way. Wow, that was really close. Mm, kind of surprised I didn't get hit, to be honest. Chances the boss fight is attached to that big room down there. I think it's pretty high. If not, it's up there. So many keys. Which is nice. Hopefully, we're onto a Yarrow rune. 
Ah, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, I'm out. I'm out. Dun, 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 dun. Honestly, Meat Boy might be the perfect complement to this run. Direct damage, stay on top of him, just straight murk him as my tears kind of float around the room and hit him randomly. On, it might be the perfect companion to what we got going on here. I like Potato Peeler a lot, but honestly, if I'm being real with you guys, I think it's a little OP. Like, I don't want I don't want them to get rid of Potato Peeler. I really don't, but on 15 cents. 15 cents for basically level, you know, two Meat Boy most of the time, if not three, if not four. I mean, there's so many times where you have four red hearts in a run. I don't know. To me, it feels OP. It could be tripping, though. No, it's so itchy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about recently on the videos. My allergies, I don't know if it's just bad allergies right now or the fact that I'm legit just like have a cold. You know how like sometimes you're just like, oh yeah, it's allergies. But like sometimes you just got to be like, all right, man, maybe it's not allergies. Maybe I just have a cold. Um... So I don't really know. I apologize though. I have been a little nasally and uh, sneezy. And believe me, I've taken allergy pills. I've taken Advil. I've done Flonase. I've done it all. I've blown my nose. I know people love to comment and be like, oh dude, you shouldn't really record videos when your uh, nose is stuffy. It's kind of disgusting. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm sorry. I try my best. I just try my best out here, dude, man, bro. Oh, I knew it. That was the two of spades. It's okay. We have rune bag. That joker will not matter. L just mark my words. We have rune bag. We are going to take a Yara down to the cathedral and chest anyway. Two years. Two years to kill this room. The fear shot. The fear shot's what ki it's killing us right now. Dude, what is happening, dude? What is happening? Because you have to realize with the, the potato peeler, it's like, if you get a health up pill, that's another level of of uh, Super Meat Boy. And Super Meat Boy level 4 is, like, obviously overpowered. because and, th and that makes sense, right? Because he's, you know, hard to get. I guess before... Before... Oh, two of diamonds turned us into 80 cents, courtesy of Terraclaw. Thank you. Um, but yeah, before Potato Peeler, it was really, really hard to get, so he should be OP, you know? It makes sense. I mean, we are mowing through this really fast. We might as well kill it at this point. Plus, I probably should access the curse room. Just because. Get a sack for it. Ace of spades. I don't know why I hoggle here. Okay, more keys. All right, let's, uh, do you think it's to the right here? Oh, it is. Okay, I wasn't going to check it, so good thing I did. Barcano. All right, so we should get to deal with the devil here anyway, because we have goat head. The problem is now I don't have a joker for the cathedral or the chest, but we will get a Yara, all right? It'll happen, dude, and then we won't even care because... I would have taken the Yara over the Joker anyway. Plus, if we get a Yara, we double double the chest because we have Terra Claw. So that's exciting. Yara, bam. Okay. Lump of coal. You won't, you dirty bastard. You dirty bastard. I've been asking for you all game. I don't know why I turned into a someone from Staten Island. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop with the diagonal bullshit. I hate you, Krampus. I hate you, Krampus. You piece of garbage, dude. God damn. All right, well, we'll take vision. I took too many hits there, by the way. We're probably pretty low, honestly. I mean, that's not great. Five hearts. Um... Answers. Okay. So we know what's going on here. We know what's going on here. We might as well data miner this because we have basically a free play here. I have no idea how to dodge this. Oh, 
Um, so we have a secret room attached to a curse room. Basically gives us free entry and free exit, which is really nice. There's going to be another wave because this is uh, the womb or cathedral or wherever the hell we are. The cathedral. But anything past the womb, these turn into three waves. Um, all right. Up into the secret room. Uh, a key for two keys. Sounds like a good plan to me. A key for a normal chest? Maybe. Meh. Just all right. Why'd I do that for five cents? I don't really know. All right, not the best secret room and curse room combo I've ever seen in my life, but you know, it's all right. We don't really need the best. I, I would have loved one of those curse rooms with the four black hearts again. I just don't know if you see them more than once. Okay, it's gonna be very nice. Let me just tell you, it's gonna be very nice to go to a run that uh, <laughs> doesn't. Oh, there's gonna be four soul hearts. Let's go, baby. Uh, it's gonna be very nice to go to a run that isn't Tiny Planet. Let me just say that. I don't mind a Tiny Planet run every once in a while, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be very refreshing to be able to shoot straight tears right in the faces of our mortal enemies. Yara, come on! Oh! All right, well, at least it's, uh, at least it's two soul hearts, and I'm actually gonna wait on the Degas, uh, until we get to the next floor in case we have, like, a curse that we want to get rid of. Because that's what the gods does. It not only gives you a soul heart, but it gets rid of any curse that you have on the floor, which is nice. Oh, it's too good, man. It's too good. Terra Cloth is such a good item. I feel like they've really added really good trinkets. Um, really good trinkets in Afterbirth Plus and really good shop items in Afterbirth Plus, which is good, man. Like, I feel like those are two spots where they could have added good stuff, and they did. So credit there, as much slack as I give them for, you know, doing the void and delirium and all that, which is just kind of, you know, underwhelming to say the least, I guess, to put it politely. Um, yeah, dude, trinkets, huge upgrade with the dim bulb, light bulb, all the locust trinkets, really good. Um, and then the shop items, dude, the shop items have been great. I mean, potato peeler, like I said, it's OP, that doesn't mean it's not great. Uh, and then, yeah, even, even Terra Cloth is awesome. I would love a Yara, dude. I would love a Yara. It's just, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. <clears throat> we really need to get Cuban meat in there. Come on, bud. Oh, I tried to get you over there. Bruh. Keep forgetting we have Maul the Void. Got him. Got him. <clears throat> Alright, now now you know comes the age-old question. Do we wait for a Yara? Do we wait for a Yara? Curse of the Law. See, this is good why I held on to the Degas. Good play, Jay. Thank you, comment section. How kind of you. Ugh. Do we wait? I don't know. I don't know if we do. It may be. We do have Rune Bag, man. Just our luck stat is 4.4, so we should get a lot of chests here. And hopefully a lot of runes. Maybe not even a lot of runes, just the rune we want. Even a Perthra wouldn't be too bad. What is it, double reroll them? You, you probably don't even get a chance to pick it up. Oh, Perthra, speak of the devil. Um, well, we'll just take sticky bombs. And I'm, I'm, you know, tempted to just go back and open those four chests with the Perthra rune. Again, I'm not exactly sure how it works with Terra Cloth. I'm assuming it's like a car battery D6 situation where it just, it re-rolls them twice. You just don't see the middle one. Let's do it. Because once I get too far away, and why am I going this way? I really feel like it's not the way. Well, we're gonna take chocolate milk. Um, and then this is a slight damage up, so we'll take it. And then I'll per throw these two. And then we'll take dog tooth, I guess. Oh, I kind of forgot I picked up chocolate milk. Is it was this a good idea? I don't know. I mean, they hit really hard. That's for sure. We could probably get a lot of little ones going. Yeah. Ooh, balls of steel. Don't mind if I do, sir. 
Yeah, this is nice. The spam, I think, is better than the uh, hold and shoot strategy. Melted him pretty quickly. I think if Super Meat Boy gets in there, it's going to be easy peasy. It's kind of crazy. He doesn't... Tr I guess that that's a balancing thing. I don't think it's, you know, bugged or anything. The fact that he doesn't, you know, run right over to the enemy, even if you get close. Uh, Black Rune, we'll just, you know, suck up that and get a better tier rate? Better shot speed? I heard a dog. Does that mean there's a secret room? Oh god, the bomb! Stop doing it! I must have jinxed the Yara, dude. It is, it is avoiding us like the plague. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hey, we got sad bombs though. Let's go. Let's go. Sad bombs, chocolate milk, usually really good. Oh, wait, we didn't. Ch oh, shit. This looks wild. Oh, shit. We just got to charge the chocolate milk, dude. Woo, baby. Oh, oh, kill him. Damn, dude. That's, that's serious. That is serious right there. That is serious. Uh, yeah, so our boss is probably bottom right. Like, I questioned my, you know, why I was going that way, and, you know. Plus, we have, uh, <laughs> that looks so sick. We have, um, golden bombs, which is awesome. Dude, what? Wild. Wild bombs. Oh! <laughs> Shook. Yeah, there's the, there's the ever-elusive Yara. So if we get a uh, chest, that hit that hurt me. I'm sorry. What? If we get a chest, we could yar the chest, and it. Oh baby! At this point, what does it even matter? What does it even matter, dude? I heard a dog. When you hear a dog, the dog tooth is howling out to you that there's a secret room. Or... So is this going to be double algas? <laughs> the one shot! I'm blue baby boys! <laughs> Bob's brain is a tiny planet. Bob's brain that is also a sad bomb. That's uh, That was pretty intense, dude, at the end there for sure. Those bombs were sick! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. Helps me out a ton. That's another W there on the E streak. I know you can't really see, but trust me when I say it's at five. Um, so it's a five one Eden streak. You know, we're just going to keep rolling with this. The achievement, dude, it can wait. I mean, if the game doesn't want to, you know, give me what's rightfully mine, it's fine, dude. We're still going to have fun and still going to do some Eden streaks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out these two videos if you haven't already and make sure you subscribe for more daily Isaac content. Crack 250 likes. Another Isaac tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for your support. And until next time, stay safe, stay up. Peace out.